welcome to the video. We are starting today off with a 15 kilometer run. Half marathon prep is back in full swing. So we've just got an easy, no pace target 15K to do. We're at three kilometers, one fifth of the way done. <laughs> and we're at 5K. This is the longest run I've done in probably like a month and a half. 10K and I'm taking my first gel. I love this view so pretty guys it feels so good to be able to run outside again it just makes such a difference than staring at your treadmill 14 one more to go and that's a wrap on 15k cannot wait to go home and lay down okay you guys i've showered and i'm now going to make my post run smoothie that i always make it's a perfect way to get some carbs protein and also just like get hydrated after a run so we're going to do a cup and a half of unsweetened vanilla almond milk then we're gonna do one scoop of pea science protein. You guys know the drill, code Erica to save some money. And we're also gonna do a scoop of collagen, which is really good for your hair. Next up, some frozen sliced strawberries, just a handful. A little bit of stevia, a dash of cocoa powder, and a little bit of salt for electrolytes. And lastly, some ice in my cutie little twisters cup. Comment if you guys saw the movie, I loved it. Alrighty, and just gotta pour her up and always finish it with a glass straw. And there's our post run smoothie. Okay you guys, it is now almost one o'clock and I had my lunch, relaxed for a while, literally read my book. It's Sunday, by the way, I don't know if I said that already, but it's Sunday and Sundays I normally just chill, kind of reset for the week, sometimes run errands, edit stuff. <laughs> but today I did my long run. I held off on doing it. Normally I do my long runs on Thursday, but because I checked the weather and I saw that it was actually gonna be like 20 degrees Celsius, here in Vegas, which is unheard of this time of year. I waited to do my long run because I've been dying to run outside. Sorry, my camera died for a second, so we're back. And I think I was saying I waited for the temperature to get a little bit cooler so I could run outside today, and it felt so good because the last couple weeks I've been doing my long runs, which have been 12, 13, 14 kilometers all inside on the treadmill, which 12-ish is like doable for me because I kind of just like watch Netflix or a YouTube video. But once it gets past that like 14 kilometer mark, running inside is definitely not the most ideal. So I was so grateful today to be able to get outside and enjoy the weather and just like some different changes in my environment as opposed to staring at the treadmill, which I think I said while I was on my run. But anyways, I wanted to give a quick little update on half marathon training. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you might know that I ran my first two or raced my first two half marathons this past year and they went so, so well and I really enjoyed it and I used runna the app to train me or write my program for me for both of those half marathons and i'm using it again to run my upcoming half marathon which is in november here in vegas i'm running the half the las vegas half marathon with one of my friends and potentially my mom so mom if you're watching this I'm watching you girl but no we're gonna run in November I'm so excited and I'm still using runna which is my favorite app for running programming it's super user-friendly it customizes all of your runs based on your schedule your needs your history your speed all those things and it also can provide you with strength workouts and mobility and nutrition tips so if you're looking for a really good and affordable running program i'd highly recommend runna and you can use my code which is erica2 gives you two weeks free to try it and see if you like it and then if you want to sign up you can and i also have a new feature in there it's the community feature and you can join my community where we can chat and celebrate each other's runs and races and things of that nature so i love runna and that is what i'm using i think next week i actually have a deload week which will be nice and then the following week i think i have a 17k which is pretty long and i haven't ran that long in a very long time since last half marathon prep so that's the update on the half marathon training it's going really well i wanted to show you guys the outdoor run because it's way more enjoyable to watch that in my opinion than just like running on the treadmill but anyways that was all i have to do for training today for the rest of the day we're actually gonna head out and do a little bit of shopping right now i want to go and look at birkenstocks 
for fall. I'll put a photo up on the screen, but I saw these like baby blue Birkenstocks and I instantly fell in love. I ordered a pair of the like Birkenstock dupes from Target. They're just like the classic beige clogs and I love them. They're super comfy, but I wanted to go and see because Target doesn't have the blue color. And I just wanted to go and see what, what the quality feels like on the Birkenstocks and if I do want to invest in them. So I'll bring you guys along. We're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna, before we go, I'm gonna make a iced coffee for the road because honestly, you guys, I don't know about you, but every time I've been out to buy coffee lately it's just been mid like it hasn't hit like my at home coffees do i'll show you guys what i put in there then we're gonna head out get some more steps in i think i already have like 14,000 steps i've literally been sitting on my couch <laughs> for the last three hours so like i haven't done anything after that run besides shower and eat so i focused on my recovery and now that i'm feeling good we're gonna go out and do some shopping and just run some errands if we need to but yeah i don't know why i just pulled out my phone am i going crazy Anyways, let's head out to do some shopping and we'll finish off the rest of what I eat today. I probably will get a snack while we're, we're out just because I don't have a lot of like bars and stuff on hand at my house right now. So TBD on that. I've been obsessed with the carrot cake cookies I made in my last video. So if you want carrot cake cookies with high protein cream cheese icing, go watch that video. They're literally my addiction right now and I'll probably make more today because every batch I make, we literally finish them like within at least maximum two days so without further ado i'm gonna stop blabbing and let's go shopping all right we're gonna make some lunch and i'm gonna make tacos you guys know the drill but i've heard your comments and i have started roasting or toasting my tortillas in a pan so no longer microwaving them so we'll throw two tortillas in there add our cheese and then I want to use up this ground beef that I had from the other day. So I'm just going to throw some of this on my tacos and cover that and let it cook. All right, three tacos. Now we're going to top them with avocado. You guys know the drill. If you haven't watched my last video, I tried a bunch of new recipes. I know I've made tacos a million times on my channel, but if you guys want some different recipes that I tried last week, go watch that video. It was a really good one and I'm obsessed with all the recipes I tried. We're gonna do a little bit of salsa and some red onion and those will be lunch today. Okay, so normally I would just make this in like a normal cup, but I have these cups. I actually reuse them guys. I've used this like 10 times. So don't come at me for the plastic, but we're gonna throw in a little bit of ice in there then i'm gonna go in with the sugar-free pumpkin creamer and i just do a tiny bit of this like a tablespoon maybe like that and then this is coffee that i made in my nespresso like an hour ago and i just put it in the fridge to make it cold so i pour it in there and then lastly i'm just going to top it up with some almond milk like so i'm gonna mix it up taste it Mm. And that's how I make my at-home iced coffee and I use decaf coffee if anyone's wondering I don't drink caffeinated coffee, but this is my pumpkin spice fall iced coffee I'm bringing this bag. It's from Teddy Blake I showed it in one of my other videos, but it's super small, but it's real leather and it fits all my necessities to the Venetian and Caesar's Palace and we could not find the Birkenstocks that I want so we're gonna quickly go to a fashion show mall and see if they have them there if not it is what it is there is a Birkenstock store in Vegas but it's closed on Sundays so we'll just have to go another day of the week but that's the update okay they didn't have my size so I just tried or they didn't have the color blue but I just tried on this color to make sure I got the right size and then we're just gonna order them online Okay, we just got home. Like I said, we ordered the blue clogs online, so I can't wait to get those. They should come in the next couple of days. I am starving, it's four o'clock. I'm gonna make a quick little Greek yogurt bowl, because or not Greek yogurt, cottage cheese bowl, because that's what I know I have in my fridge, and it sounds really appetizing. I wish I had more carrot cake cookies, but I ate them all. So I'm <laughs> gonna make that as a snack. I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll reconvene at dinner. Hopefully you guys can see. In here, I just have my cottage cheese and like a quarter scoop of protein powder and a little bit of stevia. 
then I go in with some honey. If you've been here before, you've probably seen me make this a million times. It's just like my easiest go-to snack. Not me making a mess. And then I'm gonna throw some raspberries on. And lastly, some Rice Krispie cereal. Oh my God, that's a lot. So this is the finished product, Greek yogurt, honey, cereal, and fruit. A comment below, if you watch Gilmore Girls, I started watching it and I'm obsessed. I'm only on season one, but like, guys, it is giving fall and I'm so here for it. I feel like I was just in this spot, but it is now six o'clock. I've just been chilling, watching some Gilmore Girls, relaxing, editing some TikToks. You guys know the drill. I'm kind of craving breakfast for dinner. I have some eggs. I haven't had any vegetables today, so I'm gonna see what veggies we have in here. I can't guarantee we have a lot because we do need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. We normally go on Mondays and today is Sunday. So I'm gonna see what veggies I have, but I think I'm just gonna make some eggs, toast, breakfast for dinner style meal. So let's see what we can make. Okay, veggies. We have mushrooms. Okay, we have zucchini, mushrooms, and onions, which I think will be good, like sauteed with my eggs and then a side of toast, obviously. So let's get to making that. We've got some zucchini, onion, and some mushrooms. So I'm gonna saute that. Some salt and some garlic and water to help it cook. And we'll saute that for probably like 10 minutes. And then while those are cooking, I'm gonna do one egg and egg whites. Oh, I don't know why those look like that, but they are fine. And some salt. And then this is two pieces of sourdough. We're just gonna toast that up. Toast is toasted. I'm gonna put some butter on here. Um, I only have margarine, so that's what we're gonna use. Literally nothing better than buttered white bread. This is sourdough, but same thing. Delish. And then the veggies are all nice and cooked. Gets me some greens in today. I've literally had no vegetables, but I have had fruit, so getting some micros in. And then our little omelet situation is cooked. So I'm just going to throw that on there. And sometimes I'll use ketchup on my eggs, but sometimes I won't. So I might have that today, but that's gonna be our dinner for the evening. Okay, I just spent the last little bit meal prepping or meal planning, I should say, for the week and writing my grocery list. So I showed this in my last video, but I use Pinterest and I just literally search like high protein recipes and I save them all to like a pin. I don't know what you guys call it, like a collection, I guess. A board, I think that's what it's called, oh my God. And so I just scroll through these to get inspiration and then I look at the recipes, I write down the ingredients. So this is like my little menu for the week and then I have my grocery list here. We have a lot of stuff already at home, but just a couple things I need to pick up. So I'm really excited. That is what I do on Sundays. And now I'm gonna chill, read my book and I'll reconvene with you guys when I make some dessert later. Okay, you guys know the drill, ninja creamy time. This is peanut butter chocolate protein from PE Science with almond milk and stevia. And we just blend it on regular ice cream. Okay, so after one spin, it's pretty crumbly still. So I just make a hole in the middle, add a splash of milk. And I'm also gonna add some chocolate sprinkles as well. And those will mix in. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out. Very thick with chocolate sprinkles. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of caramel sauce in the middle. It kind of reminds me of like those drumstick ice creams that have the caramel in the middle. So that's what we're gonna do. And that is gonna be our finished dessert for the night, Ninja Creamy, and the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.